What's going on guys? Corey Smith here, CoreFX. Welcome back to another week of the Top Step Trader Futures Challenge. Um, another week in the books here. Slow week, not the best week, but another week in the books. We got some more trading documented. We got some more journaling done. We got some more analysis of this strategy to see where we're at. So anybody who's new to these videos, what I do is I started this challenge about a month and a half ago. Um, brand new to futures trading. I've been trading Forex for six years professionally and all. Um, now I'm trying to Forex, I mean a, a futures challenge, trading crude oil only to start. Um, trading a breakout strategy I put together myself very quickly. Very easy basic strategy. I'm not expecting it to be a killer off the start. I'm expecting to adjust it over time as I go. And I wanted to document the journey live with you guys. So every week I record the exact trades that I took, exactly what the outcome was with them. Um, and exactly what's going on throughout the week and I show you guys raw behind the scene footage of waking up and trading every day um, with a set strategy set discipline um, following you know a set asset so I've been doing it with crude oil and we are now at 49,370 in the account so we started with 50,000 obviously this is not great as we're in drawdown but we're only down about 600 bucks total after 26 trading days so that's complete days of actually placing trades. We've won 46% of them. So a little less than half of the days trading we've won. Um, but the you know average winning versus losing isn't that great. And that's because the strategy is a losing strategy right now. Right? We're winning 32% of our trades. We're winning $249 on an average win. And we're losing $142 on our average loss. So that's still a great risk to reward ratio. A little less than two to one, but still pretty close. It's still a good risk to reward ratio. Um, but as of right now, the, the strategy needs some tweaking. So that's what we're doing here, right? We're forward testing it, getting some results, getting some data, seeing how it performs. And then we're going to go back and make some adjustments and continue trading it, make some adjustments, continue trading it until we find what works, get to a smooth strategy. And then as we go, we'll continue trading and adjusting as we move on, because that's how trading works. You have to constantly be adjusting and moving and trading to stay up to date with the markets. Um, but we have another week down in the books here. It is April 12th. Uh, I didn't take any trades on Thursday or Friday this week. So we just have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday's trades. Not the most active week. I was traveling a bit and just didn't have the right setups, which is fine. We haven't seen much of that yet, but we did this week and that is okay. That is what we want to see because that shows we have the discipline to not just trade every day, to wait for our strategy to line up and then we go. All right, guys, so I really appreciate anybody who's seen these videos before, returns to watch these videos. Love you guys. Can't thank you enough. Throw any comments below. Throw the like button if you like what you see. If you want to see anything different, any comments, good, bad, or indifferent, throw them below, and I'll be sure to get back to you. Um, and yeah, with no further ado, though, guys, I'll go ahead and jump into this video, start going over it, subscribe to the page, and turn on notifications if you like these, and you'll get notified every single week when I upload them. All right, guys. So I'm going to go ahead now, jump into Monday, jump into breaking down my trades with you guys, and I will see you on the outside. What's going on, guys? Monday morning here. Uh, another trading day here with the crude oil futures. Um, to start the week, unfortunately, we had a couple of losses here this morning. We had this range established. Price was trading between about 63.48 and 63.35. In a nice tight range we did get our entry triggered our break and close with this candle here above the range triggered us in long price turned around against us 15 ticks stopped us out then we had our trigger below break and close below the range shorted it moved down in our direction and then immediately reversed and now you can see it's exploding higher so really terrible price action today um, no clear direction complete whipsaw as you can see in this area just terrible terrible price action um, so unfortunately we got stopped out but again that is the plan that is the strategy um we are now down to the lowest we've ever been in the account we're at forty nine thousand six hundred and ninety eight dollars so down about 300 bucks on the account this is the most we've been in drawdown so um you know we'll be staying on the drawing board figuring out what we can do better and what's going on here but that is where we're at here for monday we took two losses our limit for the day has been hit so we are done trading for the day we'll be back tomorrow on Tuesday to see what we have in store. Alrighty guys, Tuesday here, uh, another trading day, another crude oil trade session in the books. 
um, it's not populating here as it's after 5 p.m. recording this however I took a short today and unfortunately got stopped out right before it went down of course I'll show you guys exactly what happened so here we are here was our trading range that we had established this morning here's where we broke and closed below I wasn't behind my computer mistake number one I entered after this candle closed about here which was the mistake instead of waiting for price to come up even a little bit higher 32 even would have been better so I got in down here at I believe 28 I set a 15 tick stop up here at 43 um, what did we tap 45 what did it do reverse so I wanted to get in short here at around 64.30, 64.40 range and ride it to $64 a barrel. Price went right down to my target, hit it perfectly, would have been a beautiful trade, would have been a beautiful take profit, um, a nice three, $400 win. Unfortunately, <laughs> price came right up, stopped us out and then sold off after. So uh, lesson learned, and that is another one going into the journal. Told you guys we were going to be forward testing going over the results and what we can do better and that is just an overall trading mistake that is my error that is not following my plan and my discipline i was not behind the computer i was on my phone this price looked like it had come back up to retest this level higher than it really had um i, I wanted to get in short up around here instead i got in all the way down here and that few extra ticks that i missed on the entry is where I got stopped out. If I would have gotten it at a higher price, my stop loss would have been up here a little bit higher and I would have gotten out. I mean, I would have stayed in, wouldn't have stopped me out. Come on. And uh, would have wrote it to a take profit winner. It, it honestly could have ended up being a much bigger winner even. I could have gotten 50 ticks in a matter of an hour. Right? Um, one, two, three, four 15 minute candles. That's an hour. Moved all the way down to 63.75, really. Um, so, opportunity missed. It sucks. We're we're going further into the drawdown now. We are at 49,525, the lowest we've been at in the account yet. But it's all good. It's just drawdown. It happens. This is lessons for us to learn. This is you know more going into the book of what not to do, which is very important learning lessons and making mistakes to teach you things are very good and with this strategy you cannot mess around this is obviously showing me if price breaks out this low and I don't get filled up here too bad let the trade go because if not this stupid shit happens sorry for my language guys uh, just a little frustrating obviously when you have a loser that would have been a winner if you would have just followed your plan so lesson learned guys take a note of it I am, I know that's for sure, it's going in my journal and it's going to be drilled into my brain, not to let it happen again. So lesson learned, continuing onward, tomorrow's Wednesday, we got a news day, so we will be trading early in the morning only, getting out before news if we even take anything. Um, but that is that, guys. I will we'll see you on Wednesday's day. Alrighty, guys, Wednesday here, April 10th, <clears throat> another trading day in the books. Um, it is crude inventories day, so at 10.30 a.m. Eastern time every Wednesday, they release the oil inventories in the U.S., um, which is you know a play on supply and demand, and depending on how much an inventory there is, the price of oil reacts pretty strongly. So we try to make trades early in the morning and get out before the news event. As you can see, all these wild wicks and candles in the opposite directions whipsawing around, that's all results of the news. Um, here's the trade we took this morning. We woke up and this blue box was our value area. This was our range at, um, let me see, had to grab my journal at 4.45 a.m. We broke and closed above. I got in here. I meant to get in here, but I fat fingered it, pushed it up here. Uh, I meant to set like a pending order. Instead, I hit a market, got us in up here. Either way, decent entry. We then shot up 20 ticks. One, two, three candles straight up. Shot up 20 ticks. My target was up here at 64.70. <clears throat> so I didn't take out my position. I left my stop loss alone. Um, price moved back against me. Started to move up again. Moved back against me and stopped me out. 
So the drawdown continues, guys. Big, big, big lesson to take away here. <clears throat> I want to take this time to, to go over a big lesson, guys. Now, the strategy is not working at the moment, right? We are negative in the account. We're at 49371 now. So we lost $150 on the day. Took one swing, 50 tick loss, stopped out. We were done. Now, a lot of times traders go through drawdown with a strategy they just learned, they just made, they bought from somebody, whatever it may be. They go through drawdown. When they get negative, they start either changing the way they trade or they just jump ship on the strategy altogether, call it quits and run away. Jump onto the next system, trade that until they blow up their account and then jump to the next one and move them on and on and on. Instead of refining the strategy, find out why it's not working, how you can adjust it and improve it, they just run away and jump ship. The other thing that happens, start going into drawdown, psychology kicks in, they start getting, oh my God, I'm, I'm losing money, I need to get back to $50,000 break even to start winning again, oh, this trade I'm going to double the risk I normally do, or I'm just going to take a crazy position size, or I'm going to tighten this up, or I'm going to tighten that up, I'm going to change this with my strategy. And they start getting crazy. They start getting undisciplined. They start not following their system, if they even ever had one to begin with, and they self-destruct. They blow up their account 10 times worse, and the, there goes everything. So what we're doing here, we're staying calm, we're journaling, we're realizing, okay, we're in drawdown, we've had like a week and a half straight of losing trades. So the strategy's not performing well, but we still haven't hit our stop out point. We're still in positive territory. I mean, in... Um, keeping the challenge account open territory, right? We haven't hit the maximum drawdown, which is only $2,000. It's a very small maximum drawdown because we got the account up to uh, 50,700. I think our, our drawdown's 48,700, something like that. So I can only lose $600 more before this challenge account's done. And if that happens, so be it. I'll reset it. And this time, like I've been telling you guys, I'm going to up the position sizing. I'm gonna go for the bigger account so that I can trade multiple positions. But as of right now, we're still alive. We're still journaling. We're taking notes as to what's happening, where, how, and we're moving on. Now I might start to notice that I get 20 ticks when I get a breakout and then it turns around, right? And if I notice that happen enough times, guess what I'm gonna do? I'm going to adjust my positions and my targets so that I'm taking that 20 ticks and I'm running, right? So, um, Basically, the most important thing I want you guys to take away from this is you got to stick with it. You have to stay disciplined. You have to maintain status quo, stick to your strategy, and continue moving, right? This losing trade is normal. It happens. It was the news day as well, so price action was pretty whippy. This was a nice breakout. This was exactly what we want to see. If it would have continued higher, another 15 ticks, we would have been in the money, right? Unfortunately, it turned around before it hit our target. We don't want to self-destruct. We don't want to abandon our strategy. We want to continue to grind, take notes, and find out what we can do better. As I'm collecting this pool of data, which we call forward testing, I am starting to realize things that burn me and things that work for me with this strategy. And eventually, over time, the strategy is going to evolve, and it's going to continue to evolve with the markets because that's what the markets do. They continue to evolve. Lately, the oil markets have been extremely sensitive to macroeconomics, to things going on around the world, to civil war almost breaking out in Libya, the U.S. pulling their troops, um, changes in supply and demand, OPEC things, talks with Saudi Arabia and Russia and the U.S. dollar. And there's been so many things that oil has been reacting to more so lately than ever before. That is why the dynamics of trading never stop changing and you have to never stop trading. You have to continue to tweak your strategy to continue to evolve with the market so you'll get left behind, blow up accounts, and never never do it again, right? So we're sticking with the status quo. We're sticking with our strategy. Tomorrow's Thursday. We'll be back in trading. We'll be back looking for our value area, looking for our breakout, taking the next trades, on to the next. We're at $49,371. It's Wednesday, the middle of the week, on to Thursday, and I will see you guys for Thursday's Alrighty guys, here we are with Thursday and Friday's trading days. I'll drop it down to the 30 minute here. Thursday, um, didn't see any opportunities. As you can see, price did move down throughout the day, but there was a lot of whipsaw price action. We didn't have a nice range established at the beginning of the session that we looked for to find a breakout from. 
and so we didn't take any trades here on Thursday. A little bit of uh, you know ugly price action day correction sell off, but just no real opportunities. And then um, Friday is here, and we did not make any trades today on Friday either. I will show you guys what it looked like. So I had woken up, unfortunately. Here was our range. Unfortunately, I woke up and price was already up here. So unless we got a nice pullback right after the breakout to retest, there was no re-entering here. I actually was looking later on in the day, right before WTI opened in the US. I was looking for a breakout lower here. We did get a breakout lower. I could have gotten in short up here. What I was looking for was to fill around 64.30 to 64.40 and try to ride it to 64 even, nice 30, 40 ticks. That's exactly what happened. Unfortunately, I missed this fill. I wasn't around at the time, but uh, busy week, guys. It was tough trading this week for me as I was really busy, but this wraps up Friday's trading. This is the last day of the week. These were the last trades, another tough week, um, not that much activity. So we're gonna be doing a lot more, you know, investigating our trades, our analysis, our plan, Sticking to it for now, but making some adjustments and tweaks on the node end of things to try to figure out what we can do better here. So this is the end of Friday. As you guys can see for the week, we've got a bit of range bound movement, right? We had a breakout to start the week and then we kind of just range bound the rest of the week. So now the question for next week is, do we break the high at a, just under $65 a barrel? Do we break the low and correct at around 63, $63.30 a barrel, right? So now we play for what is happening next week. Are we gonna get this? Maybe we go up to this level here at $67 a barrel, nice strong support resistance level, or maybe we'll get a little bit of a correction, possibly down to 62, 61, or maybe even $60 a barrel. Right, we've had a lot of bullish price action without too much of a pullback. So we could be looking for a pullback down to around this level if we get a nice pullback. So this will add to our analysis. You know, this will help us see what we are looking for in the coming weeks and see what style breakouts we want to be trading um, leading up to this coming trading week, right? So we'll be keeping an eye on this pair, guys. Another week in the books. Thank you guys all for tuning in. I'll be back next week. I will be recording next week, and we'll see what's going on with our setups next week. All right, thank you guys. I appreciate it. Stay tuned as always, and I'll catch you in the next one.